I began when I was about five years old. Um, I've been playing since. Um, played multiple sports and uh, came a point in my life where I had to pick uh, one sport. It was hockey, soccer, a little bit of baseball, but uh, hockey and soccer primarily and uh, chose soccer. My whole family grew up playing soccer. All my brothers and sisters uh, played and it was very competitive. Um, we always uh, played in the yard and uh, played against each other, made each other better. Um, it was very good. In high school, I uh, played in Metuchen, New Jersey. Um, that was a very good experience, very soccer oriented school. Um, very good degree there. Um, that progressed me to Monmouth University. Um, from there, I was drafted to, uh, to uh, Chivas. Um, and from Chivas, I was, uh, I was kind of like in no man's land. Do I want to go overseas? Do I want to look to stay in the MLS? Um, so I chose to go overseas and, and, and play a year in Denmark. The culture in Denmark was, a, was definitely a good experience. It's, a, it's, it's an experience that I won't forget and it's something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. So when I came home from Denmark, I was kind of, I could have went back to Denmark, but I really wanted to stay close to home and play. So I was hoping that an MLS club would pick me up. Um, and unfortunately, that didn't happen as quickly as I liked. Um, so I took six months and I really wasn't playing, you know, and I, and I really wanted to play home and, and, and be close to my family. I was uh, coaching for Staten Island United. Um, I grew up playing for Matchfit, um, which is a Jersey club. Uh, coached a little bit over there and then went on to uh, coach in Staten Island United. Um, I had a little U10 boys team that I did part-time. Um, twice a week, train them, just really enjoyed it. Um, trying to give back to my community, um, right in Staten Island there. Um, it was a great, great experience, um, and it's something that maybe I'll continue to push for uh, at the end of my career. So when David first came here, um, the fall going into our first season, um, uh, he was just training and he reached out and, and, and he needed guys to train with, so it was me, him, and a couple other guys that got together and trained a couple days a week. Um, and then unfortunately I wasn't asked to come to preseason. Um, and then after a few weeks that went by, I, I, I got called in and, and I actually trained four times with the first team. And right after that, I was signed. I was, I was at the Portland game, actually, the game before I was signed. So. Uh, Right after that Portland match, I was asked to come and train, and um, from there, that week, I was I was picked up. So um, obviously, it was definitely a bit of a different experience, um, sitting in the stands, watching them play, hoping that in the near future I'd be out there um, competing for this hometown. It, it was definitely a great experience, jogging out there, um, coming onto the field as a sub versus Seattle Sounders there um, in front of 30,000 people. Um, in such an historic stadium, in Yankee Stadium. Uh, that was pretty special. And it's, it's definitely a moment that I won't forget in my career. Um, but I think that, with that said, I think I owe a lot of thanks to my parents um, who continued to push me um, through all of this, uh, through the tough times and the good times. Um, always pushed me to get better, always pushed me to pursue this career. Because um, there was a little time when I really wasn't uh, playing, you know, there's that four or five months where do I want to coach and just pursue coaching and be in the background or, or really put my head down and pursue playing. Um, and obviously they were always there to push me and I owe a lot of thanks and I'm blessed to have such great parents behind me and such great support. There's definitely a lot of positivity about this club. Um, about this city. Um, whenever I mean, we're playing for such a big city, you know, to be a part of this city and, and to play for our fans um, in the Big Apple, um, it's it's very it's very humbling, and, and we're blessed. I'm blessed to be in this situation, but to play in front of them and to play for them, it, it, it's an honor. Obviously, it was always a dream, um, a dream that's now a reality. Uh, it's been a great journey, um, but it's one that's just getting started, especially here in New York.